What is going on, everybody? I think the offensive line for the Houston Texans is going to be a little bit more improved than, than what it was last year. We have some people coming back from injury. I do like newly offensive coordinator George Warhop and what he does in the running game. Um, a little more on that later. But Rivers McCown, following him at Twitter, he dropped a little one-minute tidbit from Chris Collinsworth podcast where he was talking to Lovey Smith. They discussed Kenyon Green and discuss where some of the players will be on the offensive side. But before we do that, guys, I am doing the Sign Houston Texans helmet giveaway. So answer the question down below is how many touchdowns do you think Nico Collins is going to get this year and also how many yards? And also follow me on Twitter. That is at 713HSP. Now in this podcast, I'm going to drop the little tidbit down below. Just let me know what you guys think after it. Started guard. Well, he moved uh, started guard because he looked like he had tackle feet where he could, if needed, make that adjustment too. Well, we'll keep Titus and uh, Larry out at the tackle position. Uh, and yes, Kenyon will be playing guard for us this year. So he's kind of really solidifying where Titus Howard, where um, Laramie Tunsil and where Canyon Green is going to be at. I do think that this offensive line is going to be a lot better than one last year. It starts with coach George Warhop, who is coming from the Jacksonville Jaguars. The one thing that he wants to do is run the football over there um, with the Jacksonville Jaguars in his three years was able to maintain a 4.2 to 4.5 yards per carry. And that, you know, adds up. And, you know, that's kind of why we saw players brought in like Marlon Mack, who was very good in between the tackles. You know, that's also why we drafted Damian Pierce, who was a violent and very physical runner, exactly who the Texans want, uh, want to run in between the tackles as well. You know, it, it said, even Levy Smith said it himself, that they are going to be a downhill running football team. They have the right coach. They are getting the right personnel. He talked about... Uh, um, Kenyon Green at the guard. I do think he will be the left guard for the Houston Texans. And that also the podcast, uh, the Chris Collinsworth one, he said that um, that Kenyon Green looked like the best pass, pass protecting guard and probably the best run blocking guard in the class. I am excited to hear that type of hype from outside of the Houston media. The part that is the main focal point of this video is he said that Laramie Tunso and Titus Howard are going to be your two tackles. This is a four-year experiment with Titus Howard. He's played left tackle. He's played right guard. He's played left guard. Laramie, I'm sorry, Titus Howard now finally has a home at tackle. That's exactly where he was at Alabama State. His best game was at tackle last year at the left side. However, he now has a spot there. I do like the two tackles and Laramie Tunsil. If he gets his run blocking better, he is a top three tackle in the NFL. The one thing I like about Lerman Tones was nobody knew what the hell was going to happen with them. That's why we were worrying about guys like Evan Neal and Akeem Aquanu. Now that he took the pay cut and he shows that he wants to be here, Lerman Tonso is still a damn good running game. Now, now giving him a coach who specializes in the running game is only going to make him better. I absolutely love that. On the right guard, I think that is going to be A.J. Ken, who followed um, uh, offensive line coach George Warhop. Um, A.J. Ken spent the last couple of seasons with the Jacksonville Jaguars. However, there will be a competition up there. I think Austin Deklius, the guy who we just drafted, who played right tackle for the um, LSU Tigers, who started damn near all his four years there. I do think he might give A.J. Ken some trouble, some competition at the right guard position. I do think that that is A.J. Can's position to lose. And at center, I think it's summed up. It's Justin Britt. He played damn good uh, last year after coming off of two years with no football. He is the leader of this offensive line right now. He is going to coach the young guys. I like how there's veterans, there's mid, very high-tier guys, and then there's rookies. And I like the potential of other guys coming in and starting. Let me know how you guys feel about the offensive line. I absolutely love it. As always, go Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.